the starting lineup for the visiting Cleveland Cavaliers. At power forward, George Niang. At the other forward position, Isaac Okoro. At point guard, Darius Garland. At center, Jared Allen. At the other guard position, Donovan Mitchell. The head coach of the visiting team is J.B. Bickerstaff. everybody thanks for joining us for NBA action on 2k sports I'm Kevin Harlan with me tonight former NBA players Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony with David Aldridge joining us courtside now a chance to take a look at some numbers for Anthony Edwards and in the last five games he's made a bunch of hustle plays on the glass more than anywhere else his rebounding totals in these games shows a dramatic increase from his numbers during the rest of the season. And a look at the starters for the Cavaliers. The wing set for him, Mitchell and Okoro. Niang out there with Jared Allen. And it's Garland in at the point. And for the Timberwolves. The wing set for him, Edwards and McDaniel. Gobert is out there with Nas Reed. And it's Conley in at the point guard position. Injuries certainly playing a factor for both teams, Greg, in this matchup. And Kevin, it's an unfortunate part of the game, but unavoidable. Every team deals with the injuries throughout the course of a season, so there's no time now for excuses. Now here's Conley. For three, Edwards. Rebounded by Allen. And here are the Cavaliers. Last time they met in Cleveland. Yeah, and that one, they just locked it down defensively. Challenged shots and, and really protected the rim. They were very disciplined on that end of the floor, staying attached to shooters and disrupting plays with their active hands. Pass to Okoro. A three-pointer off the mark. And so Gobert will bring it up for the Timberwolves. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. Right, they looked like they were asleep on that end of the floor. No one was talking. No one was paying attention. Yeah, it was rough. Now, here's Garland. He's coming off a 13-point game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. To the paint. And a great assist by Allen as that one goes in. It's great whenever a big knows how to handle it. Allen sharing the wealth. They set the screen. Conley with it. And Allen picks him up defensively. Here's Gobert. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Mitchell outside. Screen by Niang. 
Mitchell is doubled. The wide open look here for Garland. Off the mark there with the three point shot. For Minnesota, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. After two consecutive first round exits, Greg, the Timberwolves are looking to take that next step. And with Anthony Edwards at the helm, I think they will soon. But you have to remember, he is only 22 years old. And when your star is that young, you typically have to endure some growing pains before breaking through. And here is Garland. After Anthony Edwards made that last three-pointer, Garland kicks to Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. Here's Allen. Bank shot, no good. Timberwolves leading by three. Edwards looking it over. Now the pass to Gobert. Shoots over Niang. Here's Reed. That three off the mark. Cleveland's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Carlin finds Mitchell. Now Allen. Allen, a screen on cover. Locked up there for Allen. An emphatic LU jam. When you combine his length and leaping ability, Allen is a ridiculous lob threat. Passes it to Edwards. For Mitchell. That's good from Edwards on the assist by Conley. Edwards got his second bucket of the night. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Minnesota with the rebound. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Here's Conley. Good. Nice job down low. And how about that move? Pac Conley adjusting around the contact to get the finish. Garland against Conley. Mitchell wide open. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Oh, here's Edwards. He had a 30-point outing their last game against Denver. And his rebounding was solid in that effort as well. He did a lot of work on the glass all around. It just his effort level was off the charts. And here is Mitchell. After Anthony Edwards made that last three-pointer. Gobert against Allen. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. As we approach the playoffs, let's see how the East is shaping up. Taking a look at Cleveland. Right now, they're locked into third place in the conference, looking to get a high seed for the playoffs. And I think for the Cavaliers, with the regular season they've enjoyed, it has to be wondered at this point if they're the team to beat this postseason. Now here's Edwards. He's got eight. Down low. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Donovan Mitchell. You know this can be an odd time of the season. Some teams, Richard, are in a comfortable playoff mode, a great playoff position. Others are battling to get in. Yeah, Kevin, at this point in time, teams have very different priorities. But even for teams that are going to be in the postseason, you can't just go on cruise control. You have to keep the quality momentum going. A free throw drops for Gobert. And Greg, you talk about rim protection. Cleveland can really shut down the lane, can't they? Yeah, I mean, they have the personnel to do it. Big front court and quick guards who can keep ball handlers in front of them. He doesn't get the second one. And it didn't take long for Anthony Edwards to cement himself, Greg, as Minnesota's franchise player. He is one of the best young players in the league with clear superstar potential. The future of the Timberwolves starts with Edwards. And he's good on the three ball. A consistent threat from outside. Garland looks to fire whenever he can get open from there. Conley dishes to McDaniels. 
That one against Gobert. That lane to the lane. Another miss by Minnesota. Last game for the Cavaliers, they picked up the W against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Count that one. Showing off his skills as a shooter. Mitchell knocking down that mid-range look. Now here's Edwards. Eight points for him. Inside. Gobert against Allen. Reed kicks to Edwards. McDaniels passes to Cuff. Minnesota needs to get off a shot here. Edwards, that's good. Wow, unconscious <laughs> has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Mitchell outside. Aston Yang. He dishes it to Garland from deep. Rebound, Minnesota. Outside, Edwards. Outside Conley. Back to Edwards. Jacks up a three. And Akuro pulls it down. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. The shot by Mitchell, no good. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Gobert with a screen on Garland. For three, Edwards. Offensive rebound. Gobert, no good. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Green by Niang. For three, Mitchell. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got his fifth rebound in this one. Edwards against Garland. 109 left to play here in the first. And the shot goes in. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. 59 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Conley against Garland. Over Conley. And the shot is long. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on. And you wonder what kind of a role that's going to play moving forward. Now here's Conley. He's coming off a 13-point game against Denver. Shot clock at 6. Shoots from 12. Edwards can't hit. The Cavaliers trail by 6. Mitchell passes to Garland. Pass to Allen. Niang with the ball. The pass to Garland. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. Outside, Edwards. For Mitchell. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. Anthony Edwards has been leading the charge for the Minnesota Timberwolves. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. Back to the action in just a minute. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Timberwolves? They've made a point to take what's given to them in the mid-range. The jumpers are falling for them so far. And it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball, working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks. And so Levert will bring it up for Cleveland. They trail by six. They defeated Indiana in their last game. Well, it's easy to score when you're facing very little resistance. That's why their offense looks so good now. It just seems like the defense wasn't interested. They got away with one. On the floor for Cleveland getting going here in the second. Morris is out there with Kyrus Levert. And it's Mitchell. Then there's Tristan Thompson. And it's Merrill in at the one spot. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? 
Thank you, Kevin. Well, Rudy Gobert is a fierce competitor. He says the average fan might not understand what I bring to the table, but the GMs in the league do. I want to be the best defensive player of all time. I want to be a force, and I want to win championships. I've got to set the tone every night. Kevin? And he does. He is a stopper, no doubt about it. David, thank you. Richard the Cavs went all in for Donovan Mitchell, but it has paid off well. It's crazy what Donovan Mitchell can do at only six foot one. He has so much bounce and so strong, but he is still undersized for the position. But that front court, man, that defense helps him out a lot. Here's Thompson following the basket by T.J. Warren. Thompson sets the pick for Mitchell. From the top of the key, he buries it. Mitchell's got six. Creating the opportunity, Mitchell makes the right call for this situation. Edwards passes to Warren. Out to the right wing. Deep two from Anderson. Cavaliers with the rebound. Mitchell dishes to Thompson. Stolen by Warren. Passes it to McLaughlin. Now, here's Warren. There's the dish to Edwards. Knocked away. About that one, and the Minnesota lead has been cut down to just one on the basket from Morris. Loading up to stop Mitchell can lead to big breakdowns defensively. McLaughlin, the pass to Anderson. Warren inside. He's covered by Thompson. The contest and the rebound, folks. That is how you defend. And the points coming for them now, Greg and Bunches. And we're seeing what a high-octane offense should look like. On the wing, Mitchell. Edwards defending from 11 feet away. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Timberwolves have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Pass to McLaughlin. Edwards with the screen. Baseline J on the way. McLaughlin, no good. For Cleveland, they've gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. And here's Levert. A 23-point game for him in the win against the Pacers in Indianapolis. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Pass to Alexander Walker. Here's McLaughlin. Nothing on the board. It's good. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've got here in the first half. Avert kicks to Thompson. Now, here's Levert. Tight defense on him. A solid passer at his position. Levert excels at finding his teammates when they're open. Timeout called first of the game for Minnesota. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert is checked in for T.J. Warren. McDaniels comes in for Kyle Anderson. And it's Conley in for Jordan McLaughlin. Timberwolves have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. So, Richard with the Cavs, there were bumps in the road after four straight trips to the finals a few years ago, clearly. Yeah, and that's to be expected after losing LeBron. They had to reset most of the roster, but they've done a nice job of building the team back with Darius Garland, Evan Mobley. It has been very, very impressive watching them work. And the mechanics of Conley's shot are rock solid, allowing him to take a shot with no hesitation. Allen finds Garland. The pass to Niang. Allen surveying the D. Just five to shoot. Garland. And a great assist by Allen as that one goes in. When you give Garland these looks, oh, he's going to find ways to capitalize. But I love his aggressiveness. Gobert with a screen on Mitchell. Edwards can't hit. 
And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. The tray. And it's McDaniels with the rebound. Edwards against Mitchell. Passes it to McDaniels. Beyond the arc. And the three ball is good. And the Timberwolves lead by five. And that's one way to extend the lead. Continue to light it up from long range. They have all the confidence in the world right now from the three-point line. Now, here's Garland. He has seven. Lined up there for Allen. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Defensively, you have to put lots of focus on Garland, so that opens up things for others to get their shine. Edwards against Mitchell. Edwards inside. He's got 12. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Mitchell. Rebound, Minnesota. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Garland against Conley. Screened by McDaniel. From the low block. And Conley puts it in. Conley's got seven points in the game. What a smart player Conley is. Able to analyze defenses in pick and rolls and make the right read. So, timeout called here. The first for Cleveland. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Reeves checked in. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Lavert's checked in for Donovan Mitchell. The Cavaliers trail by five. Now, Garland. Scoring-wise, he's definitely making his mark right now. He's averaging about 19 points a game, and he makes that one. He's got nine. After failing to get going in the first quarter, he's looked much better here in the second. I lay the pass to McDaniels. A minute 50 left in the first half. That one's a miss. His third shot of the game. He's made one of them. Okoro passes to Garland. For the three. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Pass to Reed. He kicks it to McDaniels. And the three off target. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. It's a three-point game. Levert the pass to Niang. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free-throw line. First trip to the free-throw line for him in this one. An 85% shooter there. And they've been able to count on him hitting his shots from the line. Throw good knee in. Well, J.B. Bickerstaff, Greg, has done a tremendous job in his time with this Cavaliers team. It has had him on the winning track since his first full season with the team. Really getting the most out of this roster. Not full of superstars, but full of guys who enjoy playing together. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Edwards with it. 12 points for him. And Gobert kicks to Edwards. Down to five on the shot clock. Nice step back to get it off. Edwards got 14. And we are seeing tonight why Edwards was selected first overall. Anthony has a special ability to score. Allen finds Allen. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Now here's Edwards. 14 points for him. Gobert dishes to Conley. High post, Gobert working on Allen. And he comes up with the deuce. He has five. This is Rudy in his zone, where his shot is within easy reach. 
Garland against Conley. Outside Garland lets it go from the wing. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Timberwolves lead by three. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Tristan, what's the plan for the second half tonight? Well, it's simple. It's going to be a dogfight. You know, they got big guys, true bigs, and we got to come out, play hard, and not let up. Okay, we'll see if you can get that done. Thanks, Tristan. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. Hello and welcome. Before we take a look at the action from the first half, a brief overview of some upcoming games. And that game against the Warriors. They're the much better team on paper and on the court. The biggest threat to them, they don't play down to the competition right now. Yeah, we see that happen in this league almost on a nightly basis. And moving on to the Cavaliers' first half. It's a close one through two quarters. Some guys are taking the first open three they see. In fact, it doesn't even have to be an open three. That's why their field goal percentage is in the... That's the toilet sound, Kenny. Oh, yeah, because I feel like they do need better looks. It is in the toilet. They're shooting terrible shots from three, and they're going to require some more patience in the second half. Hold on, Kenny. What's that? Toilet. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Edwards with a strong contribution so far in this one. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. Conley is the point. Edwards plays on the wing. Reed is out there with McDaniels. And it's Gobert in at the five down low. So that's the Timberwolves five. Now here's Reed. Following the miss by Donovan Mitchell. Outside Conley. to the left side wing. Here's Reed with the clock winding down. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. Offensive rebounding is about hustle and determination. Huge putback, making a statement there. And gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Mitchell against Edwards. Kicks it to McDaniels. There's the pick. Pass to Reed. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Allen's got rebound number five here tonight. Well, he better buy his teammates dinner tonight because they've covered him for what has been a terrible, absolute terrible shooting display. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldrich. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. The Timberwolves have gone twin towers with Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert. Gobert says, I love playing with another dominant big because I've always thought that I could pass. I know that I can make guys around me better. Cat says, we complement each other. He's a generational talent on defense, and I think I'm a generational talent on offense. Kevin, I'm a generational talent on sideline report. <laughs> you are indeed, and that's why you are in Springfield. No argument here, David, thank you. And Darius Garland, no doubt, a point guard on the rocks. Yeah, I think this guy's future is really promising, and it's because of his strong work ethic, his desire to keep working on his game and get better. First free throw is good. And Greg, when things go crazy, coaches are often the first to go. But how often does that improve things? 
sometimes it goes the opposite direction, Kevin. But the simple fact is it's usually easier to change the coach than it is to turn over the roster. And so he makes both from the line. Draft his fifth overall in 2019. Garland just continues to grow his game. It is impressive to watch him get better and more confident every year. Now here is Edwards. 14 points for him. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That'll be his second foul of the game. First two foul. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Now here's McDaniel. He's guarded close. Four on the clock. The defense of Allen. It will continue to earn him quite a bit of money. Mitchell passes to Garland. Yep, it counts. Garland's got 13 points. Oh, he's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now, here's Reed. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Okay, that's a tough bucket. D on him as tight as possible, but you're not going to stop this guy from getting to the rim. And here are the Cavaliers now after the basket by Minnesota. Allen with the screen for Mitchell. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. There's the pass to Reed. Gobert against Garland. And the shot goes in from Rudy Gobert. And now a five-point Minnesota lead. And the defense has to bring more fire than we're seeing. Gobert just fighting through all of it. Passes to Allen. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. And a Kuro throws it down. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Here's Conley following the score by Cleveland. It's Edwards on the wing. He's got 14. He's been off. Still, they're up. So not all is lost. Garland kicks to Allen. Back to Garland for the tie. A basket good off the assist from Allen. Allen's got four assists now tonight. And I like it. The game plan is simple. Keep getting Garland the ball. It is that simple, and it's working. Minnesota calls timeout. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Edwards. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Morris is checked in. Master Conley, three-pointer. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. The Cavaliers trail by three. Morris outside. Here's a Kuro. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Alexander Walker passes to Conley. Driving inside. Pass to Alexander Walker. Off target from outside. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Allen, a screen on Conley. Garland with it. Now defended by Gobert. Here's Allen. And it's Allen with the jam. For a big, Allen is so fluid. Setting a pick and then gracefully rolling into position. Here's Alexander Walker. Covered by Morris. And there's the pass to Alexander Walker. Here's McDaniels. Rocket six. Hands it from downtown. Nick Daniels got six. 
And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make a pay. Okoro. And Okoro throws it down. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. For Minnesota, they've gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Conley against Garland. Outside Conley. McDaniels passes to Reed. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Their third three-pointer in a row. The Cavaliers trail by five. Garland surveying the D. Morris with a screen on cup. Garland, that's for two. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. A minute 42 left in the third. Now, here's Reed. He's got seven. There's three pointers off the mark. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Mitchell outside. Outside Garland. Morris with the screen for Garland. Over Conley. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after. Conley against Garland. Outside Conley. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got his sixth rebound on the night. The feed to Morris. Back to Garland. Over Gobert. Count them one. And the Timberwolf lead has been cut to just three points on the basket from Garland. And that's why you have to stay attached to Garland. He's got a quick shot, and he will fire it with any amount of space. Now here is Conley. He's got 12. Gobert with a screen on Garland. And Gobert kicks to McDaniel. The Timberwolves again can't hit. The Cavaliers trail by three. Mitchell outside. Garland finds Mitchell. Into the lane. Looking to get it going. And no good on the last second attempt this time. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Timberwolves ahead. They're up by three. And we'll get it going after this from the target center. And while we can, now let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. And Cleveland looking at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. At the guard position, it's Garland and Mitchell. Levert out there with Marcus Morris. And it's Thompson in at the center, filling out the middle. Here's McLaughlin. Shoots over Garland. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Levert with it. And it's Miller picking him up. And the wide open shot for Morris. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Garland's got his seventh assist in the game. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Anderson outside. Miller with a screen on Morris. Morris against Anderson. Flying his luck from deep. And it's Darius Garland with the rebound. 
Now Cleveland shooting with confidence, 50% from the field so far. Thompson passes to Morris. Fades and shoots. No good. Shot missing. Oh, I can see some miscommunication on defense there very clearly. They were super fortunate it didn't torch them with that mistake. Edwards finds Miller. Here's McLaughlin for three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And the Timberwolves lead by three. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. Mitchell outside. Garland the pass to Levert. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. It's Edwards on the wing. Pass to Alexander Walker. Puts up a three. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got four rebounds now tonight. Mitchell outside. Garland kicks to Levert. Over Anderson. And here's Morris for three. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. Eight points for Marcus Morris. And the one thing about Morris, he doesn't scare you from beyond the arc, but you still have to account for him. Anderson passes to Miller. That one goes. Count it. Cleveland's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Time out, time and the out. Cavaliers call time here. Start. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Rudy Gobert is checked in for Miller. Reed comes in for Anderson. McDaniels is checked in for Alexander Walker. And Mike Conley is subbed in for Jordan McLaughlin. Okoro, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Well, during the break, I listened in on J.B. Bickerstaff's huddle. Now, he's not happy with the perimeter defense. He told them we have to hustle more out to the three-point line because they look real comfortable out there now. I want you contesting every three they put up. We'll see if that intensity increases on D. Guys? Thanks so much, David. For Minnesota, they've gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Edwards inside. Overt defending. Conley the pass to Reed. He kicks it to McDaniels. Off target with his three. Cavaliers trailing. Here's a Coro. Good, and the assist goes to Mitchell. Mitchell's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Confident and composed on the three-point shot at a critical junction. Now here is Conley. Pass to Edwards. Conley sets a screen for Edwards. This is to Gobert. Over in the corner, Conley. And there's the call on Rudy Gobert. That's his first foul. A different look now for Cleveland. Allen comes in for Thompson. And it's Garland in for Lavert. Cleveland's gone three of four from downtown here in the fourth. Now here's Akoro. McDaniel's defending. Pass to Allen. He dishes it to Garland. Looking for Allen and gets it there. Hammers the alley oop through. You appreciate how hard Allen works to be an efficient scorer. He doesn't try and play outside of himself. Here's the screen. Conley kicks to Reed. Edwards against Mitchell. Back to Reed. The shot will not fall. Good work defensively by Morris. Now, here's Okoro. McDaniels defending. Allen against Conley. And they double up Allen. A three from Morris. And another three for Cleveland. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading 
to a score. Just great ball movement. Mitchell against Edwards. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Niang's checked in. And here's Cleveland. They're on a 14-5 run here. Mitchell passes to Niang. Now Garland. Driving to the basket. Gobert pulls it in. Edwards against Mitchell. Conley inside the line. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Cleveland leading by six. A crossover. And there's Mitchell. That's good on the assist by Garland. Garland's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. And the Timberwolves call time here. You look at Darius Garland. Guys, what a contribution. This timeout gives them a chance to strategize because whatever the game plan they have, it's not working. Attention fans, now on the court, into the hot spot. Get back on the middle here. Here's Conley. Over to the left wing. The pass to Reed. Shoots the three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. This is snowballing for them. They've got to get a good look next time down. And they get it. And Gobert kicks to McDaniel. Gobert the pass to McDaniels. They shoot again. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And good luck he keeping Gobert ball. off the boards. He has a tremendous nose for the ball. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Cleveland. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. And tonight, we've also seen a lot of great play from them inside. They've been consistent in terms of attacking the interior of this D. Cleveland leading by five. And here is Garland. Passes to Allen. This now to Mitchell from deep three-point land. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Edwards kicks to Conley. Edwards against Mitchell. Pass to McDaniels. Six to shoot. Pass to Reed. There's the triple. It's good from long range. Oh, just a two-point Cavalier lead. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Now, here's Garland. Here's Allen. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. Watching Allen go to work inside is a thing of beauty. He's so confident operating around the rim. Mitchell against him. From 11 feet away, the putback. It's good on the putback. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Mitchell with it. Now defended by Gobert. Now here's Okoro. He's guarded closely. And every miss finds its way to his hand. Well, what an impressive performance. You aren't exaggerating. You don't get to 20 rebounds without having a special talent for grabbing misses. There's a screen. Here's Edwards. Oh, wow, a huge basket to tie the game. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. And the Cavaliers call time here.
There's 37 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's Mitchell. The putback. Good. He is an elite, elite offensive rebounder. Allen is especially good at getting ideal positioning on that glass. Can't afford any wasted possessions down the stretch. Pretty much they have to be perfect the rest of the way. That puts tremendous pressure on your offense. And the Timberwolves call time here. They're trailing by two. 27 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Seven seconds left in the fourth. Edwards dishes to McDaniels. Edwards against Allen. Edwards kicks to Conley. Stolen by Garland. And they commit an intentional foul. It's another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game out. 11 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And now we've got the intentional foul. Second foul to the foul. Second to the foul. Keep the conclusion. During this foul. At the ball of the team. Gets the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. The charity stripe Garland is very efficient. He could really help his team here. So he goes two for two at the one. And it's a four-point ball game. Calm and cool. And his free throws put a bow on this one. Nice way to finish the game up. Reed misses. So it's an arrow win for the Cavaliers pulling it out. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. And you know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Donovan. High execution from the team tonight. Did you think the focus was there collectively? Most definitely. I think, you know, if we don't focus, you know, we might let this game slip away. But for us, it's continuing to plug away. And, and you know, we're not at our 100% yet. We're not at our best. But we have a lot more things to improve on. But our focus and attention to details really was getting us through. Looks like you're building towards something special, man. Thanks. Back to you. Much appreciated, David. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. PlayStation.